aquí en Auto 060 en una edición especial que estamos transmitiendo fuera del estudio de Cristina Radio Networks allá en Miami. Hemos estado viajando, como les decía en la introducción del show, por Minnesota, por Cincinnati. La semana pasada estuvimos también en Washington D.C., en Maryland, en Baltimore y en California probando vehículos del grupo Chrysler. Así que eh, si el sonido es un poco distinto a lo regular, esa es la razón. Estamos transmitiendo gracias a la maravilla de la tecnología desde Cincinnati en este momento, donde más adelante en las próximas ediciones vamos a traer el review del nuevo Buick Regal que venimos a probar por acá. Eh, pero como escucharon en el primer segmento de este show, estuvimos en eh, Minnesota probando la nueva Kia Soul 2014 y ahí Orth Hendrick nos presentó todos los detalles de lo que es nuevo de este vehículo, de cómo lo han modificado sin llegar al punto de cambiar las características que lo han hecho tan popular y que se ha convertido realmente en un éxito de venta eh, para la Kia. Ellos lo, eh, lo hicieron debutar en el año 2009 y en ese entonces la presentación fue en Miami y pensaban en ese momento que iban a vender solamente unas 30, 40, 50 mil unidades por año en su, en su pensamiento más optimista y el año pasado llegaron a vender 115 mil unidades, ya es el modelo, el segundo modelo más vendido de la Kia acá en Estados Unidos, solamente detrás del Optima, que sin duda es el modelo eh, más exitoso de la firma coreana, aunque en los últimos meses han estado sufriendo con números eh, más bajos de ventas en comparación con el año pasado, eh, digamos mes a mes 2012-2013, Kia tiene mucho optimismo en que estos nuevos modelos, eh, incluyendo este Kia Soul 2014, van a ayudar a mantener esa línea ascendente que han tenido durante los últimos años aquí en, el 2000, en Estados Unidos y que empezó precisamente con la primera generación del Kia Soul en la presentación del 2009. Así que para hablar un poco más de lo que está pasando con la Kia, hablamos con Michael Sprague, que es el vicepresidente de Marketing y Comunicaciones de la Kia, sobre la compañía en general, el nuevo Soul, los nuevos modelos que vienen. Así que escuchemos la entrevista eh, que hicimos la semana pasada en Minneapolis. Bueno, well, gracias, Michael, por la uh, uh, invitación a conducir el nuevo Soul uh, 2014. Un important muy importante, um, porque tienes que gastar mucho tiempo en un muy corto tiempo. I mean, el carro debutó en 2009. Right. Y en 2013, casi, no ni siquiera cinco años. Y ya es el segundo time that que you have upgraded the car, right? Yes, exactly. So yeah, for the 2014 model year, it's an all new vehicle uh, introduced in 2009. And then in 2011, we had a slight uh, redesign, but this is a, a what we call a major redesign. It's an all new vehicle and it's absolutely fantastic. Really fun to drive, great improvements uh, from quality and interior materials, driving, uh, noise. It, it's just fantastic. And in that short period of time, it has become the second most sold car in the brand for the brand which is amazing I mean the whole brand they're, you're doing fantastic but this car especially is like showing more or less the pace that the company is moving at right yes exactly it was the, the first vehicle introduced in 2009 that really led our product led transformation uh, it's an iconic vehicle it, it really represents a kind of the essence of the brand it's fun It's funky, it's really cool, it's hip, and, and that's what the soul is, and then that transcends into the brand. And to your point, yeah, it's our, it's our number two selling vehicle this year. Is there a, I'm not going to say a danger, but is there like a possibility of becoming number one? Because Optima is now number one, right? Right. Optima is number one. Soul is number two. Sorrento is is number three. And those really kind of serve as the the, the stools uh, or the 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 the, uh, the legs of the stool. And um, we we think uh, it, it's in a good place at being number two. Optima because it competes in the large mid car uh, segment. Uh, it's it's appropriately placed there as our number one vehicle. Yeah. So uh, obviously fantastic car because your results are supported by good product. I mean, there's no other formula, right? In the right. car business. It's all about product. <laughs> exactly. exactly. So what, what, I mean, I know more or less, but can you explain for the audience what has made this huge change for Kia in short time? I mean, because even I had a, a guest last week and we were talking about the Cadenza yep. and the, she used the word shocked yep. to see that car at that level of luxury, of technology, of design, of every performance. Right. And then for the price and like, but the shock part was like coming from Kia. I mean, people don't spec those kind of things. 
And so this is what is happening. What's the process of that? Okay. Right. So to, to your earlier point, it is all about product. And in 2009, the Soul was the first vehicle that was leading our design um, and product-led transformation. We introduced nine all-new products in three years. So we were connecting with a lot of new customers that weren't familiar with the brand or had a perception of the brand of the old Kia, which was which was a fuel efficient kind of low cost brand. But now we've got great design, cars filled with technology, great safety, um, leading quality, um, great driving dynamics, good fuel efficiency. There there are no trade offs. Great with this value brand. because great, you pra great. package the cars with a lot of things. And exactly, and the great value. And so there are no trade offs with this brand. That the biggest challenge continues just to be to, to make people aware of all of these new products because a lot of people are holding on to their vehicles longer. So if you're not in the marketplace looking for something new, you don't necessarily yeah. know that there's all these new cool things out there. Cadenza, to your point, great new product, and it's in, and it's in a segment that we hadn't competed in before. And w what we continue to do is kind of disrupt that traditional automotive mentality of, well, you can't do this. Kia comes in and says, yes, we can. Yeah. And uh, to the point of the good product, it also has to be supported by communication and marketing. That's where you come from That's and, right. and your team. So very cool things also in that same, I mean, in that uh, aspect. The hamsters with the saw is like amazing. I mean, like they're famous now. They're celebrities. Yeah, they've uh, they've kind of, they've developed a brand in and of themselves. And uh, we just launched the latest spot um, called Totally Transformed. It's on YouTube and it's getting great, great views. We partnered with Lady Gaga. She's, uh, her latest uh, single applause is, is part of it and uh, yeah it's it, it it's really propelled the brand because it allowed us to break through that traditional automotive marketing where it was just cars on road and yeah, know. you know beautiful road and a few leaves and a nice blue sky <laughs> but what it what it does was it, it connected with consumers on a more emotional level like saw it as as fun and, a, and yeah a fun like brand. giving like a personality to, exactly. to the car with those characters right right exactly and that's allowed us then to do other fun things like in our super bowl advertising or with our Blake Griffin advertising with the NBA, yep. it's 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 allowed us to just take this this role of hey, we're going to disrupt traditional automotive marketing and just be different and have fun with it. Well, you disrupted also the sell charts because now you're like surpass some other brands that you would expect again from Kia being on top of some other brands in sales, right? Yeah, in the states. At least. Yeah, in, in sales, we're we're number eight. We're the eighth largest brand in in the U.S. And, and globally, the brand uh, has been recognized by Interbrand, which is a, a global consultancy firm, as one of the top 100 global brands. Where uh, last year we came in uh, for the first time at number 87, and the new results just came out on Monday. We're now uh, number 83. So we continue to make progress, not just in the U.S. but globally. Yeah, and the Interbrand report not only only reports on like the the popularity of the of the brand but also the value of it so Correct. you were growing in, in both aspects like getting connected to the cons consumers but also like growing the value at, right. at the bottom line is making money that, right? and, that, and that, <laughs> it, yeah and m making money that then allows us to invest in other new product yeah and uh, other cool marketing initiatives which uh, gives me a good segue to ask uh, the next thing what's coming up for Kia yeah, you already said like uh, how many seven cars in uh, since 2009 yep. uh, so n nine new cars no, nine. from 2009 to 2011 in 2013 we've got seven all new or significant alone in 2013 yeah, so, wow it's, it's a crazy year we've already you, introduced what time do you sleep <laughs> yeah i don't <laughs> we've already introduced sorrento uh forte uh the cadenza we're here for the soul and then we've got uh, the uh 2014 optima facelift uh going on sale right now and we've got a new forte coupe and a new forte five door coming later this year yeah and I know you want to say much because uh, it's, a, it's a product that's coming up, but of the Soul, there's going to be a new version next year, right? So, yes. So uh, we are going to have an electric vehicle uh, in 2014, and Soul will be uh, the vehicle that uh, will introduce our electric vehicle. Yeah, that's a segment and... that everybody's getting to it. That like, Even though the technology is still probably not as 
as the same level as the the gas engine cars, but uh, right. something that you have to get to, and and I'm I'm sure being Kia is going to be pretty cool too. It, it it'll be very cool again, taking an iconic vehicle and electrifying it, and it and it, it's it's an important um, message to 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 reinforce to consumers that we are environmentally conscious, and and therefore it's a nice extension from the hybrids that we already offer on our Optima uh, to the Soul being electric. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Oh, one more thing. Your marketing strategy is not only here in the States. I mean, you know, we're associated with FIFA, with the World Cup. And I've, yes. I've been saying, I'm, I'm a, I love soccer, so I yes. watch all the tournaments and all yep. that. And you and Hyundai, which are parent companies in Korea, they're right. sponsored the World Cups. But you are more in the under 20, under 23, so attracting to the younger crowd, right? Yeah, it, yeah, and FIFA is a great platform for us to do it, not only here in the U.S., but also globally. So we're really excited about uh uh, Brazil coming up uh, next June. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah. And the U.S. is already there, so we have uh, another How reason to cheer about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> very exciting. Thank you very much, Michael. No problem. Pues esa fue toda la información referente al Kia Soul 2014, el, la segunda generación de este hatchback, de esta crossover SUV compacta, como le quieran llamar. Primero escuchamos en el segmento anterior a Ord Henry, que es el gerente de planeación de producto para aquí, acá en Estados Unidos y Norteamérica. Y después, eh, ahora, en esta entrevista con Michael Spreck, que es el vicepresidente de Marketing y Comunicaciones de la Kia, que se ha distinguido en los últimos años, como lo decía ahí, en una serie de comerciales realmente muy atractivos y los están uh, colocando, los están ayudando a que la Kia esté colocada ahora en el octavo lugar como el fabricante con más venta de vehículos acá en Estados Unidos. No se vayan que cuando regresemos aquí en Auto 060 vamos a tener un par de entrevistas muy interesantes, una con la un piloto de pruebas de la Ferrari que hicimos en el Track Day de The Collection en el Homestead Miami Speedway y también sobre el Toyota Corolla 2014. Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Moto.